All right, so what I want to share with you today is how your driving might be causing some of your neck issues. Now, what you might not understand is when you go to hit the gas, your head goes back. So your body has to fight that. So the way it fights your head from going back is these muscles engage and that's what hold it on. Anytime your muscles engage, that's basically working out. So the stop and go type traffic, you're always constantly using these muscles to help bring the head here. Then on top of that, you go to work and you go sit at a computer for eight hours. Then you come home, then you gotta drive home and do the same thing. And then you go sit at the dinner table, then you go sit down and you're constantly in this position that's not going to ever change because these muscles are constantly getting overworked because every time you drive they're coming down here they're always crunching down then your head starts to come forward and then your shoulders start to follow the reason why is because there's another muscle here that goes up from the shoulder blade up into the neck the way the body fights that from actually tearing is it's going to find a different position what else can it move to stop that from happening so your head can go forward and then another thing that the eyes are going to do or that the brain is going to do is use the eyes to level the head so when your head comes forward here now it's got to crush all of these muscles here in order to change the position of the eyes so just driving alone is going to work these muscles and then start to create that posture a lot faster so one of the things that you can do to start alleviating some of this stuff is doing self myofascial release or self massage i've made some videos on it how to do it and it's very in-depth on how you can actually start to do this then immediately after that the next best thing to do after you do that massage is then work out your back open up the chest open up the front portion of the neck and that's gonna help change that and give you a small opportunity to now create change by working out your back muscles you have to work out your back a lot more in order to create a better posture we sit here drive with our arms cross that gives us that forward shoulder position so work your back out first do self massage and work your back out those are the two major things that you want to do to get rid of your neck pain so i hope this helps gives you some sort of insight on what is going on when you're driving so i'm rj from tune halos and i'll see you guys in the next video Make the ground shake.